everybody, it's Sam at Mixed Up Craft. Thanks for watching my tutorial today. I am going to be showing you number three of my gift bag week. And this is a really nice 9 inch by 8 inch. It's a nice big bag. Um, flat store bag. So easy to make and um, easy to store. So these are great if you just um, haven't really got anything in mind that you want to make but you want to make something. You can just make a load of bags and then store them away until you need them. So. The, um, the papers are um, from a paper stack from China. They're unbranded, but there is a website, so I'm going to have a little look, and I'm going to put the links of what I find in my blog. So hopefully I will be able to direct you um, with these papers, because they're really, really gorgeous. I love this, um, this wood effect that this one has. Um, the tag I've done using my uh, stamping up, so I've used two different stamp sets. So I've used the Jar of Love, <laughs> which I've used uh, so far on every one this week. And then also I've used the Falling Flowers. Both of these are carryover. And the colours that I used were the Stamping Up Soft Suede and Early Espresso. So two nice colours there, which were to stamp out these flowers and um, the sentiment there. And again, this is just my just some coloured card that I have, so you can use any um, colours that you, you want to do. Now, the handles here are what I cut off another um, retail paper bag that you get when you just do your shopping. Um, but I'm going to show you how to make them. So they're really, really straightforward to make, but I just thought I'd put these ones on here and then show you how to, to get that effect. And then I've just um, attached my tag with some um, ribbon just to complement. So it's um, just take that bit off just so you can see exactly. It's exactly the same as you buy in the shops. So again, really, really nice size. Um, and it's just down to a little bit of extra scoring. So really, really straightforward. So let's crack on and make it. So you are going to need... So I've got this green stripe and polka dot um, color card today. So you need two pieces of 12 by 12 cardstock. Um, the handles which I'm going to go through with you, which I've made just from one piece of just standard uh, copy paper. So you just need one piece of copy paper to make them. Um, then you need to die cut some um, white uh, ovals. And I've got a bigger one there as well, which are from this this set here so I used that one I think it was that one there which I will measure for you and this one here so for the smaller one it measures three and three eighths of an inch by just over two and a half and the larger one there is so it's just the next one up so you're looking at three and five eighths of an inch um, by two and seven eighths of an inch. Okay, but again, I put all these bits in my blog, but if you did want to get it, obviously it's close to how I've done it, um, then they're the ones that you will need. Um, then I've just die cut two of the big flowers from the falling flowers. So this one here, and also, um, where has that gone? Oh, here it is, it got caught up with the other one. Just one of the little um, medium flower there. A brad to um, you know match with your colours because this is going to go right through that flower, and then you need some ribbon. My ribbon measures well. You're looking at 15 inches, and then two pieces of card. These are going to go inside the bag. So I'll just show you here this piece here, and it just reinforces it and helps keep those handles in place as well, just like they would on the the bags that you buy in the shop. And this one measures um, just shy of eight um, inches, so I do um, seven and uh, seven eighths of an inch by um, was it one inch or one and a half? One and a half inches. Okay, so seven and seven eighths by one and one and a half. Right, let's crack on and get the scoring done. So let me just put all that to one side. Scoreboard. Get my ribbon out. So first of all, we will do the front of the bag. So you need to score at, there we go. Make sure we're all in focus. Right, so first of all, 
along any, it's just pick a 12 inch side, doesn't matter. You're going to score the first score line, you're going to score at one and a half inches, but you're only going to score down to seven and a half inches. Is that in? I'm just going to. So from one and a half, there we go, yeah, one and a half down to seven and a half, okay? So, like so. Then the next one's going to be three inches all the way down, and then at 11 inches all the way down, okay? Then rotate onto the left hand side um, of the 12 by 12, and you're then going to score at three inches all the way down. And then you're going to do four and a half inches, but just down to that second score line. Okay. And then what you want to do is you can either grab your ruler, but you need to carry, you then need to miss all of that, but you need to carry on and just score that final piece of that four and a half inch. So what I do is flip it over and then just do the four and a half down to that first score line. Okay. So that is the scoring. We're going to do these triangles in a minute because you don't need your scoreboard for those. But that's the scoring that you need for the front piece. Then grab your other piece of 12 by 12. And again, we're going to score at one and a half down to that seven and a half inch mark. Then at three all the way down. And then at 11 inches all the way down. Then again, rotate to the left and you're going to score at three inches all the way down. Then at four and a half, rather than just going up to that point, that second score line, you're just going to score all the way down. And that's again all the scoring for that piece. Okay, and then we'll do those triangle pieces in a second. So keep your, um, your scoring tool and grab yourself a ruler. And what you need to do so from that point that you scored down to seven and a half, you want to join that score end of that score line to this bottom right hand um, corner, this point of this like rectangle that you have here, and again the other side. So you're just creating a triangle, and that's just going to help form that fold for us to be able to fold it flat, just like so. Okay, so you're getting that triangle mark there. Okay, and then just do that again on the other one. So now we can get all of the size burnished. So I'm just going to fold mine all of my fingers like so don't worry that you can't fold these ones because it will happen when we go to actually fold it all together so again with the triangles as well don't worry about that bit this long one here just pinch it up to where it kind of all comes together and you can see already it's kind of already those score lines are coming on anyway but like I said don't worry too much about them it's just to help it all when we come to fold it at the end so just do that with that one and again so now what we need to do is our handles and add this card in the back it's much much easier to do all of this while it's flat before we stick it all together um, otherwise it can, uh, can obviously get a, get a little bit tricky so let me just grab okay, so just get your copper paper, paper and then just roughly in the middle, just quickly put a rough little score line there, just so I can fold or just fold it. And you just want to tear down that. Like I said, this is all. Oh, <laughs> okay, let me use that one. It was a bit quick there. Um, just to show you. Like I said, you can cut it, but you don't really need to be wasting your time. We'll get rid of that bit. Okay, so you've got a piece here. You'll use the other one for the other handle, but obviously I've ripped that one. And then what you want to do, starting from this, uh, it's easy for me to explain, just starting from this bottom right-hand corner. You want to start to roll it, so just kind of start it off, just by rolling it between your finger and your thumb, like so. But what you don't want to do is go off in a, like, 
a straight like that that point is straight if it's pointing in that direction you don't want to go in that direction you almost want to start rolling it so that you're twisting it so now that that point is almost kind of facing this way and then basically what that means is you start to roll all along this long piece first and it creates a long handle so it's a bit a little bit tricky to explain that but Basically, if you went that way, you'd have a really, really short handle. But if you start to just twist it so that you are going off, like I said, more, more in that direction, you will start to get a really long handle. See now it's starting to really take this long bit. Whereas if we'd gone that way, this would already have all been rolled up. Keeping it nice and tight. And once it's kind of really got going, you can see it all starts to come together. And there you get a long handle. So you need to be aiming for, look at that, perfect, 12 inches. That is what you want. Okay. And then all I do is grab a bit of tacky glue, pop it on that last piece there, and then just roll it around your finger until the glue's kind of spread out. And then just get a bit more glue on your finger there and you just want to roll it up just to kind of seal and just twist it around. You just want to seal all of the edges and stuff. As long as you've done that last one, it won't come apart anyway. Okay, but that's what you want. Now let that kind of dry, just let it set to one side and then you will have obviously a long piece but I can still show you that even though it's a little bit tacky it doesn't matter just for the video once it's obviously set you want to then flatten it with your fingers okay and then don't go and just bend it straight away you literally want to do it bit by bit because it is you know a lot of paper wrapped together and you could risk um, ripping it or tearing it so if you just do it bit by bit just to kind of get that curve coming in like so and then there is your handle and then what you would do is at the bottom you will twist that when you go to stick it down so that the flat bits go against your bag like that and then you will have these so if you are slightly off with your lengths on both of them just line them up together and trim them so they're the same um, in height which is what I did with these and you can see there now that they're set they stay in that position see that one's still moving it's still going to naturally try to go out that way but these just stay now and they have these really you can see very cheap handles and also what you can do with that copy paper is if you want to make them different colours is just get you some ink and your blending tool and just you know you can just kind of go over them and stuff so you can make them any colour that you want so that is our handles and then those pieces so what you need is some strong tape so I'm using my red tape just to get these in place and let's start with this one first so I put my tacky um, my red tape sorry about an inch um, stick about an inch of the end of the handle okay like so So you just want to put it on the ends there like that. And then, I think it was two inches that I'd done it on the other one. Let me just measure how far in. Yeah, two inches. So just grab yourself a pencil and put your ruler from this that score line to that score line. So it should be eight inches, okay? And just roughly put a little mark at two inches in from each side. So mark at two and six inches, okay? And that just means you know that you're gonna get them exactly in the middle. Put that to one side and then just take your, okay. And then you just wanna lie it from that glit, from the top of that sticky tape down. And on that one. So, okay. And then grab one of your sheets there and we're going to then just stick that over the top 
Okay. Um, let me grab again. I'm going to use my tacky, tacky glue. Again, concentrate on the edges. So that's what you want to make sure is stuck down. And then you know that roughly two inches is where that is going to be. So you want to make sure you've got a bit more there and then just enough on the edges there just to stick it all down. And then just carefully pop that all in place. And again, give it some time to set. You might want to use your red tape on the back of this as well, and then it's all covered, obviously done quicker, but this glue does dry very hard at the end, so it's perfect for things like this. Okay. Probably could have just cut my card a little bit shorter than the eight inches, so maybe seven and... I think I said seven. Yeah, I did say seven and seven eighths, so I've obviously... Could have done with taking a little bit more off. It's fine, it will fold still. I just have to push that around a little bit. But there you go. All right, so you want to repeat that whole process on that second sheet. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And then I'll meet you back when they are both done. Okay, so that's both of those done now. So you can see mine all. Okay, place. So, so we just need to start with the front here. You need to, so you've got your base along the bottom. So you want to cut up this first score line, which is just that little tab. We want to cut that out. So just cut up, so like I said, that first score line. And then just notch the ends off there. Like so. Okay, and then go all the way along the base again to that bigger um, end side that we've got here. Okay, and then just shear off the sides there, like so, okay, so that's all we need to do on that one, and then we're going to do exactly the same on the back, so again, start in that bottom corner, right, now we can stick the front one, so remember the front's the one without that score line here, um, and now we can stick this down, so just turn it over, and Make sure your tape goes right up to that score line. Okay. And then you just want to line up. In fact, if I turn that over, turn that over, it's easier that way. Just turn them both over. Start from the top. And make sure your score line's in place. And then keep the bottom lifted up so you can kind of hover it over the top there. There we go. Okay, and then turn the whole thing over, and again on this tab here, you're going to do the same with that tape. Okay. So again, that one folded down. It should all just naturally fall into place, but I still always just hold it over and make sure you get that join at the top nice and straight and flush with the whole piece. And you keep that bottom bit held down until you can kind of hover it over and you're happy. There we go. It all lined up. It was fine. Okay, so it's all now, you can see, starting to come together. So remember the back is here with this extra line and the front has just got that nice plain piece. So with that in mind, we're going to put the back down first. So we kind of fold it down, it kind of starts to hold it all into place. And then I'm going to put the side tabs in. Now usually I put the side tabs in first and then two of the bottom ones, but what I thought is when you look inside, it doesn't maybe look as nice, whereas now when you look inside, you've just got a plain piece of card. So all I'm going to do is just apply some tacky glue onto these ones here. Once we turn it upside down, when it's all together, we can um, put a ruler inside and really kind of spread all this glue out. So don't worry too much at the minute. You just want to fold them in and they just stick like so. Okay, and then just hold that in. And then again, you just want to put, you might want to use your tape, you can use anything. I'm just using my glue because it's quicker. Bring it all down and it will just 
just naturally fall into place. Okay, and then with my ruler, you can see inside now, I've just got a nice plain um, base rather than seeing those two little tabs as I've done in past videos. So I think this is going to be my better way now of doing them. So that'll do for the minute. I can spend some more time on it and it needs to set. But now all you need to do, where the top of that triangle is, just put your finger there and push in. And as you push it all in, lie it down. Okay, so it's all starting to flatten out. That's that bit where that I didn't cut it down. It's fine. Now when you start to fold it, where that line is that we scored in, See that I'm just push, put, pushing against it, the whole thing will flatten down, like so. And that's all it's to it, it's all in that scoring, which is great. I'm just gonna just burnish mine a bit on that top bit, because that was where I put that. I think I cut mine at eight, not at um, seven eighths of an inch. And just go and just burnish, I'm just flattening that again, making sure that glue's set. And there you have it. That is the bag. Easy peasy. <laughs> um, I really like them and they're, they're perfect um, for storing. So I'm, I'm definitely going to make a few of these and I'm going to do videos of other sizes as well because I just think these are great. Um, so that's the bag done. So I'm going to let mine set for um, to one side and just show you how I put that tag together. So again, really, really straightforward. I just grab all these bits and pieces that I've got. Get rid of that tape. Okay, so like I said, I used the Hey Thanks, which is from the Jar of Love, and the, the little bee um, there. And then these were from the um, Falling Flowers stamp set. And the colour I used was always Artichoke for these ones. I thought it was a nice colour and it all went together there. So I am going to attach that one onto there. And I think I'm going to use some of my... Um, foam squares so I'm going to put all of that into place first just put two on I don't need to put too many on it because it's only a tag and sometimes I get a bit too happy with those and end up covering them but that will do okay and then you want to stick this one because this is your tag piece on the back so I'm just going to pop a bit of glue on the back and then this one will stick on the other side like so okay then grab a hole punch and you want to punch through the center of this flower like so they're all going to get stuck down and then I just need to hole punch through this one, like so, okay, and then you just need to put it all together, so this one sits there, that one, and then that one I cut down a little bit, just cut, just cut it off onto that leaf there, yeah, so I'm just going to pop a bit of glue down there, like so, and then that one, just don't need too much glue, just a little bit, just to kind of hold it all in place, like so. Okay, so you can see there, I mean, again, you can do anything you like, and then with my ribbon, so just feed through the brad, so it sits perfectly there, and then I just forced it through. Oh, I remember what I did. Sorry, I've done it slightly wrong. It's fine. This will this will still be okay. But I um, stuck this down last, so it covered everything. So what I'm going to do is do this one differently and just put it on like so. You can see that I've just put it underneath the brad so it hangs up. But you'll see on the other one, I've done it that way. 
so it covered it. So I guess it doesn't really matter. That just looks just as okay. I've seen things like that in the shops and stuff. It's all exposed. So either way, so either do it all first and stick that last or do it as I've just done there and just uh, put the ribbon underneath the brad. But there you have your tag and then that can just tie. Here we go again with my bows. Tie around at the top. Like so. There you have it, really, really pretty. I love them, I think they're so nice and um, relatively straightforward to do. So let me know how you get on with these and um, if you did enjoy this one, then uh, please hit the like button and uh, subscribe to the channel to see more. I've got some lovely other gift tags to be showing this week as well. So there you have it. Thanks for watching guys, bye.